Hey guys and welcome to the shack. In this video I want to show you guys my homemade propane fuel source for my Bunsen burner. Um, now for the extremely detail oriented OCD people out there I do realize that this is in fact a Tyrol burner or Tyrol burner however you pronounce that and not an actual Bunsen burner but for the sake of this video I'm just going to call it a Bunsen burner. Anyway the fuel source for this starts with a propane cylinder from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, you can actually get it from Ace as well, pretty much any hardware store. And then the corresponding torch fitting. Um, and then I have some vinyl, some tight fitting vinyl tubing attached to the torch head. Um, and you want to make sure that this is very tight fitting so that nothing leaks out. Also, you want to make sure that you get some. Uh, Vaseline and uh, coat the inside of the plastic before you insert it on the uh, torch head uh, so that it's easy to remove later. Um, and finally the last thing that you need to check uh, before you try to use this apparatus is that your tubing color covers uh, these little uh, air inlets um, because if uh, the tubing doesn't cover those then propane will leak out of them uh, when you try to direct it to your Bunsen burner. Anyway, um, connected to this tubing is some more tubing, as you can see, uh, which flows around, wraps around, and uh, ends up going into the burner. All right, so time to show this in action. So I'm going to turn on the gas, and I'm just going to hold it up so that you can hear the gas coming out. Yeah. So now I'm going to connect it to the burner, uh, and set everything and light it with the flint striker and you can see it lights right up and it can be adjusted just like a normal burner finally to turn off the burner what you want to do is uh, first adjust the oxygen um, till adjust the oxygen on the burner until you get a yellow flame and the yellow flame is the cooler flame it's still pretty hot obviously uh, but it's cooler and then you want to turn the gas off at the uh, torch now the great thing about this design is that you can still use this as a, an ordinary propane torch all you have to do is remove the tubing and just light it up like a normal torch And you can see it fires right up. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for some other interesting chemistry videos.